Hello, I'm Rubal Khan from KC Tech School, and the following video tutorials have been created to guide you to use VRVEX, a free virtual robotics programming platform created by VEX Robotics. Now, hello and welcome to the first tutorial on VEX VR. All right, now VEX Robotics has just launched a platform where you can do VIX um, robotics and you can code VIX robotics using um, the same VEX code software that they had before but now they've got a virtual robot that you can actually control and you've also got a virtual arena in fact a few different kinds of arena so this is my platform vr.vex.com and if you go to playground down here it's going to launch the arena I'm just going to expand this to show you how the arena looks like. All right, so that's a normal grid map. Again, you can go to different views. That one will, will actually, the, that, that tab will actually take out all these numbers, the distance, move, the rotations, and all that. So I'm going to take that off. I think that's an eyesore. I normally don't look at that that much. I figure out the, uh, the data myself, all right, through calculations and uh, doing a bit of math. Now, that is top view, and that's what we have here. Now, th this is the side view, and you can actually use your cursor, you move it a bit, and you can see it from different angles. So that's the arena. That's a normal standard arena. And then you've got other stuff, like, for example, you've got a maze, all right? That's another virtual playground that VEX has actually launched through their VR platform. So let's go to the angle of view, isometric, that's what you have. That's your start line. If you go to the top view, the robot's got to start from here and finish all the way here. And you got to work out how to move through that maze. It's a really cool platform. Um, Vex VR. Again, the website is vr.vex.com. It's free, entirely free. Vex has made it free. Uh, and that's really great for students who are working, uh, who are studying from home right now due to the coronavirus outbreak. All right. And there's multiple challenges out there as well in the Vex website. What I'm going to run you through is I'm going to run you through some basic coding. Um, using VEX code, and then I'm also going to give you simple challenges, all right? But you can also get more challenges from the VEX website. Now, just to give an idea of what this robot is all about, they've got a, um, a virtual robot, and the robot is basically this robot, all right, which has a pen, so you can sort of do writings as well. Um, so you can, there are challenges which, which will probably ask you to write stuff, okay, as you move through the different tutorials. You've got a sensor, okay, that, that can sense things in the front. You've got a down eye, which basically senses things at the bottom. All right, then you've got two, sen uh, two bumper switches here, right bumper switch and a left bumper switch. Again, down here, the robot is turned upside down. You've got a gyro sensor, which basically means you can turn, turn to whatever angle you want to turn. So turn 90 degrees, the gyro sensor will help you calculate the angular rate of movement, and then it will turn 90 degrees, okay? as you command it to. So you've got a great robot here with different sensors, all right, and as well as a pen so you can draw stuff, okay, and then you've got the platform where you've got different codes on the left. Okay, these would, most of these would be similar to what you have on normal VEX code uh, platform, but obviously you've got some new ones like magnet one. This magnet one is a new one that I haven't seen before, and you've got stuff like move robot pen down, set pen color to whatever color you want. So you've got stuff like that, okay? The first tutorial is basically just to introduce you to this platform. From the second tutorial onwards, I'm gonna look at specific um, grids and we're gonna go through basic movements followed by more advanced movements. And I'm also gonna give you challenges as we go on, all right? And thank you very much for listening. Look forward to seeing you for tutorial two.